Hey everyone, this is David. I'm back again making another video. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to uh, connect to a Raspberry Pi 400 with a serial connection. So the first thing you have to do is buy the um, serial connector. So I bought this. This is what it looks like. And um, this was the price. And the reason why I thought this would be a good little project is the price. It was very inexpensive to buy this cable. And I thought um, if I could do this, it'd be a great little project. It'd probably take a little bit, like an afternoon to do it. And it did. So let me show you what I did. So go to eBay and pick up a serial connector. It should have four little wires like this. And we will continue with the next step. So once you get your uh, serial cable for Windows, you're gonna go to the device manager and you're gonna go to the ports. Now, what you'll have to do is you'll have to get the device drivers. You're gonna have to go and download the drivers. This thing, this cable will not work right off the box. So, but to figure out if it's working or not, is this, you're gonna to go to ports, com ports, and it should look like this. Now, if it says something like, um, this is not allowed, or um, unable to install for Windows 11, there'll be some error messages. You have to get the device driver first. So try that first, and then you'll see something like this. And once you get this, you're gonna open it up, and it'll tell you what COM port it is. You'll know, you'll need this information in order to connect. The next thing is, is the port settings. Uh, you can put them for this, the following, 115, 200, data bits eight, parity none, stop bits one, and flow control none. The advanced, I just left it alone. This is, this is my settings. I didn't touch it. But 115, 200, 8, none, 1, and none. This is what you need. And for, for the thing that I used, uh, probably gives you a little bit about the driver here. So make sure that you get the driver and you'll be okay. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to go to your Raspberry Pi. And you're going to want to do this. You're going to click on the start here. You're going to go to preferences and you're going to go to Raspberry Pi configuration. And in the interfaces, you're going to go there. And then you see this, the serial port, you're going to turn that on. And the serial console, you're going to make sure those are OK. You're going to press OK and then you're going to reboot your PC. OK, so... This is what you're going to do. To plug in this, you're going to find out where the SD card is. And then at position number six, you're going to plug in the, the black wire. Position number eight is going to be the white wire. And position number 10 is going to be the green wire. And you can see how it is here. So I just plugged them back in the GPIO section and you can see where it's all at right here. It should be just like this. Now, this is very extremely important. This red wire does not connect to anything. If you do plug this in, it's going to blow up your system or it's going to, your Raspberry Pi is going to be a uh, paperweight. So do not plug this in. I was even thinking about cutting it off because this is hot right now. It's supplying five volts of power. And if you plug it in somewhere where it's not, it's going to short out and it's going to ruin your Raspberry Pi. So this is the important places where to plug in. So black is on six. The white is on eight. And this one is on 10, just like this. Okay, and this is the final step. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to download PuTTY++ and you're going to come to this where it says PuTTY Configuration. So before you do anything, this is where I got uh, confused, puzzled, but I was able to solve it. So you go here to Serial. And you see how it's like this? This is wrong. So you're going to want to do this is you want COM4 for, for what we did. Well, mine was on COM4, so you have to change it. This is 115200. 8, 1, none. And this flow control is going to be none as well. And then you're going to press open. Or actually, you're going to go back to uh, the top here. Go to serial, COM4. It should look like this 115, 200. And then you're going to press open. And then that's it. You log in with your username and password. And um, now you have access to your PC, just like that. And you can run stuff like, uh, just like a command, and it's very fast. It's very good. So uh, that's it. That's how you get connected. Now, I'll show you something very interesting here. <clears throat> Why would you want to use a serial port? Well, it's good for debugging. And I'm going to show you this. So I have top running and I also have VNC connector running as well. So what I'm going to do this is I'm going to turn it off and then you can see what happens. When I do a shutdown, I'm going to do a shutdown here and you see how that stalls, but you see all the logging information that they have here. I find that kind of interesting. So that's really about it. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.